Good morning and welcome back to Question and Research. Make sure you click the, click the bell and subscribe, comment, like, and share. And also follow me on Instagram at Question and Research. It's a full, it's a full, the full um, name, Question and Research, no symbols or anything. Today's Black History Moment is Robert H. Lawrence. Now, the first time I heard about Robert H. Lawrence was 10 years ago when I worked at the Chicago Public Library as a cyber navigator. I remember when they would get together the Black History Board with different types of people who contributed to this nation, also to our community, as well as to others. Um, I've never seen him before. So I'm glad that he was put on the wall. I worked in Inglewood off of 61st, off of 61st and Normal and um, the Kelly Branch. And he was up there, so I looked him up. And one of my coworkers saw me looking at his bio and everything, and she was telling me how he is from Chicago. So he was born in 1935, and he passed away in 1967. And... Um, he went to Inglewood High School, graduated at 16. He also graduated from Haynes Elementary, and he also went to Bradley University and graduated at the age of 20, and he eventually went to The Ohio State. He's a Buckeye, nothing wrong with that, and graduated with a PhD in physical chemistry, um, so he got his dissertation there as well. So he's the first African-American ast astronaut. And um, he was chosen by NASA. So he was in ROTC um, in college and he joined the Air Force. So he was a very budding person. I mean, he was like reaching goals, graduated from high school at 16, graduated from college in 20, having a science degree, uh, pursuing a science degree is not easy, not to say every, every other degree is but it's not easy but he had an appetite an aptitude to pursue a science degree so the name of his dissertation so he got a doctorate in physical chemistry so he's a doctor technically he's a doctor so the name of his dissertation is the the mechanic mechanism of the tritum Beta ray inductive exchange reacting deuterium with methane and ethane in the gas phase. Okay, I know I messed that up. But what I was looking at one of his pictures, underneath they were saying they still use his dissertation for like a reference point to do um I guess to do studies or to do projects or whatnot. So he eventually was um, a part of NASA. He got recruited by NASA, first black astronaut. One thing about him, he wasn't really, they weren't really trying to remember him or we didn't, re they didn't really want to make him known as the first black astronaut. Cause I just found out about him again, 10 years ago in 2010, it's 2020 now. And um, he was, a part of the manned or orbiting laboratory program. So it was a series of things, a pro, uh, activities they had to do in this program. They had to survive in the desert. They had to, they had to survive in like, um, remote places like the desert. They were dropped in the middle of the ocean and be out in the ocean for a couple of days or a few days at a time. And they will come back and get them. Now he started, Unknowingly to him, we didn't know he didn't know this was probably going to happen, but he was with NASA, so he's with his NASA co workers, colleagues, or whatnot. And the media started to catch wind of him, and they were on a secret mission. It was really to spy on the Soviet Union, but they were on a secret mission. And when I was reading and doing my research about Robert H. Lawrence. They were saying many people were like, I wouldn't say many, but there was a colleague. They didn't name the colleague, but they were saying they were worried that the co their identity will be at risk because the media took an interest in him because he stood out when he was black. And during that, that time, a lot of black people weren't in that area of like science or a high level or a high security jo job or position like that. So they were very nervous about that. So he passed away at the age of 32. 
he was married he had a child named tracy and what i find a little bit disturbing about it and he won he passed away in his early 30s he was married he had a child but i sometimes think it was a little bit of a conspiracy theory because it's like okay he died in a crash when they were up there, like, uh, I wouldn't say practicing, but he died when they was, like, preparing for a mission, and they was testing out the machinery and everything, and everybody else's seat worked to be ejected out, but his didn't, so I just find that a little strange that his didn't work, but I'm glad that now that he's getting recognized, he's a, he was a brilliant young man. I mean, he was setting goals, and to me, he was just crushing it. 16 years old, out of high school, went straight to college, graduated at 20, got his dissertation, and his dissertation is still being used to this day. So thank you. That was our Black History Moment for today. Tomorrow will be Reginald Lewis, the first black billionaire. Yes, I'm excited about that. So I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure to like, comment, and share. Thank you and have a wonderful day.